Right, hey uh, trendsetters, take two. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to try this adventure ride again. I'm back at the same spot where I started last time. <laughs> um, if you didn't see, I've made a small mod to the mounting for the Raid Garage auxiliary tank. So hopefully this time we don't have any dramas with the bike breaking down, the intake coming off and all that hoo-ha. If you want to check that video, I'll put a link up in the corner here somewhere. Um, very simple fix for that. Hopefully it's worked. Um, I have been over a few erosion mounds so far and the tank has not moved by the look of it. So yeah, pretty good. But yeah, it's another freaking beautiful day. Getting warm, very warm already. Yeah, without further ado, let's go. We're gonna, <laughs> gonna try and get to where I was trying to get to last time when the bike broke down. I am quietly confident, I think. <laughs> but the 690 is still, still reliable in my eyes like you know the, that little problem was caused by an aftermarket thing i'm pretty sure like uh i'm still not 100 percent <laughs> still not 100 percent sure that the raid garage tank was what was causing it but uh, it does seem quite likely a few people reckon a little backfire would have blown it off but I, I don't think it would have without the pressure of that rag garage tank pushing on it anyway we'll see if we can get where we're going today this time <laughs> i reckon she'll be right anyway i'm not going to record too much yeah we did have a bit of a thunderstorm here last night so i noticed quite a bit of shit down But yeah, I'm not going to video too much of the stuff that I recorded last time because you've already seen that. So um, I'll put the camera back on when I get up near where I got to last time. <laughs> it's definitely a little bit uh, slippery, a bit of moisture around today. Makes it interesting. Fuck yeah, it's a koala! Cool. I don't want to scare the little bugger, but... I need to get some footage of him. Hey buddy! You alright? Gee, I nearly ran over you, but... How cute is he? The famous drop bear, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's the first time I've uh, seen a koala during the daytime on the road like that, on the track. Okay, here we go. This is where I broke down. <laughs> Look out here up there. I reckon I can get up there pretty easy. I don't know why it comped out on me last time. Oh, that's right, the fucking air box came off. picking it up but yeah drinking water supply for the area Lake Barumba oh so far so good KDM still going <laughs> anyway on with the show so we are making our way to Kenilworth today through Charlie Moorland I don't know the name of the road I take to get over there but it is known as the greasy tea <laughs> um, it's like this red clay stuff it's 
slick. So yeah, I'm kind of 50-50 hoping that the that bit of track, the greasy tea has dried out a little bit. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be cool if it is a bit wet. Just nice to be out here today though. Oh, perfect day. Perfect day for it. It's gonna be hot later but perfect day for this sort of riding. Yeah it's been it's been years since I've been through this track up here, eh? Right? A long long time. So pretty keen to do it. Can't even get up that one, it's wet. Downhill sections. Slippery as hell. Thankfully, we haven't had that much rain. Just that bit of a storm yesterday, I'd say it's mostly dry, dried out. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to get up here when it's really wet, man. It's fun, it's fun, but it can be impossible. with a clean bike either. I'll give a shout out to Jeff Patterson. The first time I met him and Bredo was on this track but way further down and we were coming back this way and I think they wanted to know how to get through so I said follow me we'll go up this track we went up this one and I said watch out for those big muddy puddles after you go over the erosion mounds because some of them are freaking deep and slippery um, so yeah they were following me up here and of course what did I do went straight into one of those freaking mud puddles dropped the bike in it uh, yeah I was covered in mud from head to toe pretty much <laughs> dunked me throttle handle in there oh, everything was just fucking covered in slag claggy freaking clay mud it was disgusting <laughs> so yeah, I'd, uh, I was like, yeah, this is what you don't do, boys. <laughs> Classic Josh. Three. But yeah, like, it's really good to be doing this track again. It was one of my staples back in the days when I had the WR250R. I used to come out here and ride this track. and go to Kenilworth for a donut and a coffee and yeah just go exploring looking for new tracks along here it's a really nice area to ride it's 
So yeah, if any of you Patreon guys download this GPX, I would recommend not doing it when it's been really wet. You know. Oh, man. Huge. Yeah, the drier the better. Unless you're on a little, little bike and you like mud bogging <laughs> and you're up for a challenge, hit it in the rain by all means. Yeah, wow, well, what a blast in the past. <laughs> I'm not sure why I haven't come through here for so long. Maybe I got bored with it or... I know it was closed or the other end of it was closed for a long time because the fucking four-wheel drives were just trashing the track. The first crossing... Whoa! This one's... This one's quite uh, deep at times. I've seen it like up to these rocks and still ridden through it. Yes, yeah, uh, on the 500 it nearly drowned it. So that's quite low today. Still be nice for a dip though. Yeah, see so this is where they part of where they close it off. Holy moly, it's all been logged. Holy shit! <laughs> wow, that's a trip. I don't even know if I'm going the right way now. It looks so freaking different. Shit. <laughs> does not look familiar at all. <laughs> I can't believe how different it is. I don't even want to jinx myself by saying it, but holy shit, I would hate to break down down here. No phone signal down here. Long walk out. Yeah, no, this ain't the way. Where that goes. <laughs> tracks out here. Is that even a truck? Surely. Goes. Holy crap, it's steep though. Can you kidding me? What is this shit? Whew. Yeah, 690 would nail it, but I don't know. As I always say, 
pretty freaking cautious when I'm by myself. And I don't really know where the hell I am. So that's enough of this hill for today. <laughs> it's freaking fun, jeez. Oh, oh, oh shit, that bloody rock nearly caught my back wheel and toppled me over the bars. <laughs> It would have been uh, uncomfortable. Yeah, and sometimes I wish I left my camera going all the time, so I was just putting along here, and these, all these goddamn cows just came out of nowhere, out of the side of the bush. One of them tripped over on a vine and went sprawling on its face in front of me. It scared the crap out of me. Alright, I'm going back once more. Try and find this track because it's marked on my, on my map here. So, should be able to find it.